She's little, she's sweet, and today she's making a tiny treat that is just her size. I am in the kitchen with Maria, clearly, who's making her delicious orange cardamom, what do we call them? They're called little poppers. Oh, little poppers, <laughs> there we go. We figured it out. That is what they're called. Debbie, Orly, and Ken have nothing. You'll We're have waiting to wait. to pop. Very excited. You will have Please to wait for us this. to make it. So, Take me through this. I had no idea. I didn't know what they were called. I've never heard of these. Okay, so here's the idea. I make baked donuts. You guys, I've made them on the show before, as you know, and I love me a baked donut. But let me okay. tell you something. When you have a baked donut, you do not have a donut hole. So I have a solution for you. Enter the popper. So this is what we have today. What? These are the replacement for the donut holes that you miss when you have the baked. Oh. Listen, when you make donuts at home, a lot of times it can be this overwhelming, I have to have the yeast and rising and frying. You don't want to have to do that every single weekend if you don't have a deep fryer or something like that. So I want that same sort of cozy feel of the donut. And might I say, these are not fried, but they have just as much flavor. They look they amazing. They are small but mighty. I, I think we should start baking them right here, right okay. now. We start with the dry ingredients. Greg, what's up? What do we have in here? So we have some all-purpose flour yep. and unbleached all-purpose. And okay. I have some baking soda, baking powder, because we want to have a nice puff for this, and some salt, because you always need salt with your baking. Some nice puff for the poppers. Nice okay. Very good. And then what do we have here? We got a little bit of orange zest and orange juice, I see. We're going to mix it together. Okay. So this is sour cream. I love using sour cream, as you guys know, in my baking. And to add this nice sort of element of freshness, I'm using fresh orange zest. And who doesn't love orange zest, especially in the morning when you're having your breakfast foods? It's amazing. And I made these for my kids this week. I've been making this recipe for legitimately years, but they love it because it has that nice, bright sort of freshness that you kind of want in the morning when with baked goods too. You know, sometimes they can feel like super heavy, especially like what you get with a donut, but this adds a nice element of freshness. And sour cream is an interesting choice, too. Does that help uh, add some sort of lightness to the poppers? Absolutely. So that's what's going to react to our baking powder and baking gotcha. soda. A nice puff, and it's going to be nice and light. And She's a scientist. I try. Now we've got some uh, butter, some sugar, and some eggs, correct? Yeah, so we have butter, sugar, and eggs. And relatively Oop. speaking to this, this isn't going to be a super sugary little muffin yep. or a little popper, if you will, uh, because it's a little less because we're going to add some sugar later. Okay. So okay, we have this good. going. Well, you've got a whole strategy here. I do. Tell everybody about what your strategy is to, to add all of these. Okay, so you want to alternate your mixture. So we have our dry okay. mixture. Do you want to just add like a, a third of this, basically? Okay. And what I'm going to do then... I'm actually so going to grab another one right here. And I add half of the sour cream mixture. Okay, you do that. Yes. This I'll is do a, the dry. This is important. If you haven't done this, you'll see a major difference with your baking because ultimately what this does is it allows everything to incorporate in a much, yeah, go ahead, um, in a much like lighter, fluffier way. If you don't do this, it's going to be more dense. When you do this, it is, I'm telling you, we'll see you light get years that? of a difference. No, third, yeah. a half. A third, half, and a third. So starting and then it's going to be all. It, yeah, so it's starting and finishing with the dry ingredients. To be appreciated. And there's no, I love math. <laughs> and there's no yes. egg in this recipe. Yeah, two that, eggs. There's two eggs. There were two eggs. The, okay. it, yeah, it was already mixed in there. Oh, after it, you, it. after you, the, the Cream sugar. With the, got, and, it, got it. How did you decide <laughs> on the cardamom and orange mixture together? So those are two mixtures that sort of like are a match made in heaven, like peanut butter and chocolate, peanut butter and jelly, those things. It's a classic flavor. But cardamom has a really kind of orangish sort of uh, undertone to it and so I just wanted to kind of elevate it and I actually add cardamom to my pumpkin pie spice mm. and that I just had around and I thought it would be a nice bright morning little little bite. You're an inventor. Now what did you just do there? You put it back in and give it another quick oh, little whip. You want to make sure as you can see here you want to make sure that you're scraping up the bottom because oh, okay. you know the, everything can kind of like it's not going to get everything so you Should I take see, it up now? Yep we're okay. good. Okay very good. All, All right. right now we're going to scoop these into our little mini muffin tray. We are. They're sort of mini muffins, let's be honest. Essentially, that's what it is, but okay. I like calling them yes. poppers. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't mean, I'm, they're poppers. It's a one-biter. Now, okay. are you using this guy? Yes, yeah, so I call you go this, first. I will first. This is, um, I mean, I call it a cookie scoop because I use them for cookies, but essentially, Cameron, that's all you do. Okay. This is uh, coated with some cooking spray, some, you know, uh, nonstick cooking spray. I recommend doing this instead of doing, like, the buttering and flouring process that we do right. with cakes. Because it's gonna, this is gonna work the best in, in terms of this. If you uh, do the butter and flour, I feel like it coats it so much and can kind of create a heaviness to it. This will come out nice and light. And if you have any issues getting them out, I can show you when we take them out. But just have an offset spatula and kind of scoop them out. Okay, let me this ask is, you about amount. So this is the perfect oh, amount for this. So right? this is like a heaping tablespoon. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, you want them to all be about the same size so that okay. they bake evenly. This guy's a little low. That's okay. okay. Maria, if you that don't have one of these mini pans, can, will that same recipe work in a full size or will it not? I'm so happy you asked that. <laughs> yes, it, it will. will. Okay. It will. It will. For those of us 
without a mini muffin pan. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. So never been so excited. Been so excited. Way more excited than anyone I've ever seen. Wow. Yes. I mean, wait, because this? I would have. Oh the thing is, you know what's even better about that? You have a big, it's like a big donut. Oh, essentially okay. what it is. So it depends it's on how like big your mouth is. You know? Yeah. Still yeah. 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 Hot. You still can't call it a popper, though, if you put it as well, a big muffin. Well, you call it, <laughs> can you call it like a popper? A popper. <laughs> I challenge that. My mouth is big. Okay. Now we've let these cool a little bit. Excuse my voice. Oh, yes. Okay, so we've let these cool a little bit. Uh, it's, mine if they're, it's okay if they're still warm, but this is where we add the cardamom. Yes. So you can see we didn't add the cardamom before. You can add whatever flavors you like. Okay. So what I do here, this is sugar, uh, a little bit of cardamom, a little bit of cinnamon, all kind of those warm uh, sort of uh, oh, you, spices. So this I is what see. I do. That's where the butter comes so in. So this is where, this is just some unsalted melted butter. You do this, oh, you coat it over. like this. So listen, oh. it's essentially it's healthier than a donut. So you're all like, <laughs> actually, yes. Oh, <laughs> and it's just, look at you roll it in there. You could do this in a powdered Fun. sugar as well, but that's it. And oh. if you don't have a pastry brush, you do. There you go, that's even oh, better. Oh, stop it. <laughs> It's even better. Wait, do we have to start serving? We gotta start yes, serving. Yeah. Why are they going on the back over. and not yeah. in front of us? Here, I'll yeah. give you all one and I'll keep going. Thank you. And so this is where you can add any flavors that you like though too Thank to you. this. So you could add some cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice or anything Ooh. you like. Okay, wow. Cam, we gotta have one too. How am I doing? You're doing wow. a good job. See, and this You're is not where- You're mm. Maria, can I tell you this is like, this is exactly like a donut hole. Like that same exact status. This is mm. so good. Yay! Oh, my, oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even speak. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Oh, you need another one? Okay. Mm. Like, I'm just going to dip it. I guess they are called poppers. They're poppers. Yeah, exactly. You just, you, you can just. I'll tell you what, you can't just pop just one. No. Oh my gosh, so good. Well done. This is oh. delicious. <laughs> Thank you. you can't Thank you, sir. May I have another? These are incredible. Cameron, mm. how great are these? Uh, super tasty, and I gotta tell you, I feel better already just by having one. Wow. So, mm -hmm. oh. You all make sure to follow Maria on her Instagram at From Scratch with Maria. And as always, you can get this recipe on HallmarkChannel.com. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Coming up on Home and Family, best selling author Valerie Burton shares how to find success by focusing on what's going right in your life. Fear is inevitable, but it's not a stop sign. And smoky barbecue pulled pork meets stuffed pasta in a modern soul food twist. My soul has officially been fed.